Hi, this is a DVR Examiner 3 how-to video tutorial. This video is on the DVR Examiner detection results and scan options screen. When you first start DVR Examiner, the start screen pops up. From here, you can select to detect a hard drive or an image file. We'll go ahead and select to detect an image file. The screen that pops up next is the detection results scan options screen. If the source data that you are scanning is supported by DVR Examiner, this screen will populate with the results. Otherwise, another screen will pop up over this telling you that the file system is uh, unsupported or potentially that it is a support pending file system. Uh, this detection results scan options screen is divided into four panels, the detection results panel, the supported features panel, scan options panel and post scan jobs panel. The detection results panel displays the results of the detection. It displays the file system name that DVR examiner determined was on the hard drive as well as the supported video formats for that file system and also the output formats meaning uh, what will DVR examiner let you export the video clips in and in this case it is an open video or a .avi file. The supported features panel lists all of the features available for this particular file system. If they are supported, they are in orange. Uh, if they are not supported, they are grayed out. You can mouse over any one of the features and it will give you a description of what that feature is. The scan options panel is where you can select to either scan an accessible or inaccessible scan. Uh, if inaccessible is not supported for that file system, this will be grayed out and will only let you scan accessible. From here you can also set a date time offset so if you know that the DVR date time is incorrect uh, you can come in here and set this offset and this will um, tell DVR examiner to adjust the date time and it will generate a new columns with the adjusted date time. You can either do a DVR versus actual offset or if you know a specific time span, you can come in here and set uh, either a day, hour, minute, or second time span. And in some cases, uh, DVR Examiner has a time zone drop down here. Uh, that all depends on whether or not the file system supports time zones. Uh, depending on the DVR, some DVRs will store uh, the information on the hard drive in UTC or Universal Time Code and then it will be up to you to select the proper time zone from the drop down so that DVR examiner can display the proper uh, date time in the clip list. Uh, we also have scan filters that you can uh, uh, apply from this screen. Uh, keep in mind that any scan filters that you apply from the screen cannot be undone or altered once the scan is complete. So if you would like to be able to edit or delete any filters, you will need to apply those filters directly from the clip list screen and not from the detection results scan option screen. But if you did want to apply a filter from the screen, simply click on the edit button. It opens up the scan filters screen and then you can apply any one of the three filters available here. We also have source details. If you click on edit on the source details, you can change the source name. Uh, this doesn't change the file name. It just dis changes the uh, way DVR examiner displays that source. So I can come in here and change this to source one. And then from now on, DVR examiner will uh, display uh, that source as source one instead of the uh, referencing the file name. From this uh, screen, we can also associate uh, the source with a device or a location. I won't get into that uh, in this tutorial, but you can either select uh, an already existing source or you can choose to, uh, or a device, or you can choose to add one from these screens. And then we have the post scan jobs uh, panel. Uh, this panel allows you either to create a get video properties post scan job or an export media post scan job. A get video Properties post scan job simply uh, returns the video properties of any clips returned in the clip list and that includes obtaining a thumbnail, getting the video dimensions, the video type, and also the resolution of each of the video clips. 
When you click Save, it adds a Get Video Properties job to the PostScan Jobs grid list. Uh, we can also add an Export Media job. Uh, the Export Media screen will open up and you can select to export clips uh, directly after the scan is complete. You have the option to set export filters here. If you select none, DVR Examiner will begin an export job of, job of all the clips returned uh, after the scan is complete. Uh, if you want to select which clips to export, you can come in here and again select from one of three different filters and then uh, DVR Examiner will apply these filters only to the export job and will then export only the clips uh, that uh, were returned with these different filters. And then if you click Save, uh, it adds an export job to the Post Scan Jobs panel. So that is, uh, in a nutshell, the detection results and scan options screen. Once we per click Perform Scan, uh, DVR Examiner will open up onto the main screen and display all of the clips in the clip list, and uh, that will be uh, covered in a separate video. Thank you.